What's going on everyone, Patrick here. And in this next question, what we're told is the prices for small, medium and large pizzas are $5, $8 and $12 respectively. The pizzeria received $917 of orders. The number of small pizzas was 11 less than twice the number of medium pizzas. And then the number of large pizzas was five more than half the number of medium pizzas. How many orders of each pizza was there. So in this case, notice that we're actually going to have to introduce initially three variables because there's three different kinds of pizzas. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let x equal the number of small pizzas. I'll just write small there. y equals the number of medium pizzas. And then z would be the number of large pizzas. So because we have three unknowns here, we're actually going to have to make three equations somehow. Now, the $917 of orders, notice we can make an equation from that. And what it would be, it would be 5x plus 8y plus 12z is equal to 917, like that, right? The number of small pizzas times the price of each small pizza plus the number of medium pizzas times the price per medium pizza plus the number of large pizzas times the price per large pizza. The total of that is 917. Let's keep reading. So the number of small pizzas, so that would be x, was 11 less than twice the number of medium pizzas. So if we take the number of medium pizzas, multiply it by 2, subtract 11, that would give us the number of small pizzas. Um, the next sentence, uh, the number of large pizzas, so that Z was five more than half the number of medium pizzas. So if we take the number of medium pizzas multiplied by half and then add five to that, five more then half the number of medium pizzas, that's the amount of, um, give me a sec here, that's the amount of large pizzas, right? And so now we can solve, we got three equations, three unknowns, and actually what we can do is we can take this expression, plug it in for x in this first equation, then we could take this expression for z, plug it in here, and then notice everything would be in terms of y. So what we can do is um, we can rewrite this. Let me, uh, actually I'll just, yeah, I'll rewrite it over here. So we would have five times x, which is two y minus 11, plus eight y, that we're not touching, plus uh, 12, and then we would plug in that for z. 1 half y plus 5 equals 917 like that. And now notice we have an equation all in terms of y that we could solve. So if we solve this, we would have 10y minus 55 distribute there plus 8y plus 12 times a half is 6. 12 times 5 is 60 equals 917 like that. So 10y plus 8y plus 6y would give us what, 24y? And then we would have 60 minus five, which is five, or uh, 60 minus 55, which is positive five, bring the positive five over, we would end up with nine, 12, like that, right? Or 917 minus 60 plus 55 would give us 912. So then y would be 912 divided by 24, like that. And when we do that, we would end up getting 38. All right, so that is the Y, which is the number of medium pizzas. So that's the answer to part of the question. That's the number of medium pizzas that's ordered. And then to solve the rest, we could just plug in that Y for these. So X would end up being two times 38, which is 76 minus 11 would be 65.
that's the number of small pizzas. And then if we plug in 38 here, 1 half times 38 is 19. 19 plus 5 gives us 24. So that's the number of large pizzas. So that's the number of small pizzas, number of medium, and then number of large.